comes the money. Here we go. Money talk. Here comes the money. So I just got back to my tri back from my trip to Chicago and I got a jacket there. And I made a couple trailer reactions in closets and bathrooms and I was there, but then John Wick Chapter 3 trailer dropped and I would have reacted to it, but unfortunately it was on a day where stop stop clapping. It was on a day where I couldn't react to it. So I was like, okay, I'll just talk about it on Friday. And now it's Friday, so I'm gonna talk about this trailer. Okay, so the first part of this trailer was essentially saying John Wick's being hunted and everybody wants him to die. And he has this girl that he used to know and they're going to work together and he has a bulletproof jacket. Which I thought was pretty sweet. But essentially this trailer didn't show me so much. The trailer is just so great as a trailer. Like it is so freaking well edited. The choreography in all in both of their John Wick movies is fantastic. And once again here it looks great. When he goes up to the guy he's just da 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 just shooting him in the face. I'm just like... And when he takes the knives, just saying, chains, throwing it down at the guy. It just looks so awesome. But there's one thing I really need to talk about, and that is the famous line. What do you need? Guns. Lots of guns. <laughs> I'm going to break down why this line is so perfect. Number one, it's stupid. It's a stupid corny line that you say in front of an action scene. You're just like... Yeah, that's stupid, but that's awesome at the same time. But second, I love that's the, that's a great Matrix reference. That's perfect. That's actually a good reference. When I saw it in the trailer, I, was just, I just burst out laughing. I was like, yes, this movie looks so good. It's not forced. kind of is, but it's not really that forced. It's like, it's natural. It's just a funny reference in there, and I'm just like, yay. Thanks for referencing a great action movie. Even though these John Wick movies have been far consistently better than the Matrix movies, so. And this entire trailer, they're basically just saying, John Wick, you're awesome. Well, how are we gonna kill John Wick? We're gonna kill John Wick. No, we're not. This will end one way, and that's we you dying, because John Wick doesn't die. But yeah, the whole trailer is basically them talking about how awesome John Wick is. Even though he's still human, he's totally awesome. Still debating on whether this was trailer review worthy. I'm gonna still talk about it. John Wick movies love classical music. They'll play classical music and make it awesome in this trailer. They add like a bass or something. They add music to the awesome classical music and it makes it a really cool classical song. And I recently learned that the song and the awesome song in the super cut for John Wick, which is such a great... If you've ever seen it, go watch the super... If you've never seen it, go watch the super cut for John Wick. Just the original John Wick. It is so awesome. It's so cool. It's called Symphony of Violence. It plays some song. I'm forgetting what it is. But it's like... Da, 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 and it's like editing, it's super fast editing, and it's really entertaining, it's really good, really, really good stuff right there. But, um, that I learned on that music section V for Vendetta, and every single time there's an explosion, it does the, da, 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 I hope that's in this movie, because that's awesome. But these movies so know how to under, to understand how action works. It's not fast paced, go over, or go over, or move around, it's like, the action's fast, but you know what's happening. The camera doesn't move around too much. It moves around a bit for you to feel the intensity. And I note this, I'm guilty of having horrible action scenes in my movies. They're not good. Trust me. The one take shot from the next movie I'm releasing, The Jaeger, is that's literally an experimental thing. Because so I was like, I need action. So essentially our movies are action movies. Some of them are. They're action movies. But they're not action-packed movies. And I really don't like to do action because it takes so much time in editing. And I want to do it, but I'm not professional enough to do a good editing. But essentially, the editing in this movie was quite cool, essentially. Like, the fast-paced editing was fun, cool. I really liked the editing in this trailer, in all the movies, essentially. Like, in every John Wick thing. It's so well edited and so fun and exciting. And Keanu Reeves, the thing about Keanu Reeves is that it's like, I know he sucks at acting. He's not a good actor at all. Some people are like, he was good in Replicas. And I'm like, he sucked in Replicas. Replicas is just bad. It's not the role for Keanu there. Replicas, still king of the world. I did not expect that. I thought that I would have found something by this point. Who knows, maybe Wonder Park or Captive State will be worse. Yes, reviews for those two coming on the next two days. Because if I leave, I'm still making reviews. I'm not going to bail on you guys. No, I'm going to make reviews like that. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna give, okay, so essentially, how do I word this? 
I'm going to review a couple movies now that have been gone for a bit. So yeah, let me take that off. Uh, yeah. Oh, and the final line of the trailer is, of course, uh, what was the line? Oh, yeah, it's on, um, all of this for a puppy. We're walking down the stairs. He wasn't just a puppy. And then I was like, it was, though. But yeah, it does have more backstory behind the puppy. That's sad. I like that, though. I like how they're still reflecting. Hey, guess what? This franchise literally started because a puppy got shot. And I especially don't want this franchise to end. I especially don't want this to be the final John Wick movie. Because I have consistently enjoyed the other two. And I'm really, really freaking hyped for three. Uh, I can't wait to see this movie. I think it's going to be an action-packed, awesome ride. I'm actually going to rewatch John Wick 1 tonight. So I'm going to do that later. So yeah, what do you guys think on the John Wick Chapter 3 trailer? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Bye. I might be a bit off because of the trip, but whatever.